Stroke is a focal neurological deficit, okay. which is of no other origin but cardiovascular in origin. Depression is the leading cause of disability. Depression on its own it's, is a persistent feeling of sadness, okay. a persistent feeling of hopelessness. Hello viewers, welcome to this week's episode on Health Watch on Advent Cable Network Nigeria. My name is Angela Nweze. What many of us may not know is that your oral health, that is the health of your mouth, is a key indicator of your overall health, well-being and quality of life. As you can obviously see, the mouth is the doorway to the body. A report by the WHO, that's the World Health Organization, says that 3.5 billion people worldwide are affected by some form of oral related disease and most common oral condition is related to the teeth for example dental caries popularly called tooth decay is estimated to affect 2.3 billion people globally so with this large population being affected i think it's important to learn how to care for our mouth especially the teeth so today we shall be discussing oral health my guest is Dr. Ebiko Ayeba. He's a principal dental surgeon at the University of Abuja Teaching Hospital. You're welcome to the program, sir. Thank you. It's good to have you. Yes. Ah. I'm here you too. know, when I was speaking to you on the phone, you didn't sound like how you look. <laughs> <laughs> you look younger. So it's good to have you on the program, sir. Thank you. So today we're going to discuss oral health. And I was amazed at the number of issues we have going on. You know, three point five billion people globally that's a lot of people yes yeah, so but before we even look at why that is a problem let's just have an idea or know what exactly is the teeth for is it just for chewing i, I want to believe <laughs> it's not just for eating chewing and uh, devouring food yes thank you uh, yeah. the teeth just like you said mm -hmm. is for chewing basically okay yes is it for chewing and biting <laughs> yes biting yeah. cutting yeah okay yes then also you know it gives form and shape to your face okay that is why you see older women so as if their cheeks are sunken uh -huh. yeah, and people don't really like that because if your cheeks are sunken you look very old very old yeah oh yeah. i see oh, oh, oh okay yes okay. yes okay. okay it gives form to the face, face. Okay. as well mm -hmm. if you consider somebody who has lost several teeth Mm -hmm. You know, the, the cheeks, you know, they just go in, they are sunk on. You look old, old. just like an old woman or old, old man, man looks like. Oh. Exactly. So okay. you need your teeth to give you form and uh, shape as well. Okay. And also, you need your teeth to help you with pronunciation of some words. That is why some people, if they have, you know, missing teeth in one place or the other, they can't pronounce certain words okay like well. <laughs> yes okay. yes okay. Okay. because the pressure you are bringing out is just lost through that uh, oh, you never realize that actually yes okay <laughs> like if you want to pronounce it v oh okay. Yes. okay 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 yes okay. you know most people like open teeth so at times those <laughs> that have open teeth very wide ones yes yes the struggle with some yes, pronunciation some words. Oh. yes oh wow Yes. Okay, so looking at so the teeth now, number one, for chewing, biting, yes. and then number two, gives gives shape, shape to the, to the to, face. To the face. And then number three, that it helps also pronunciation to, yeah, some of some words. So yes. the teeth is actually... Yeah, very important. Very, very important. Yes. Oh, great. Okay, so 3.5 billion people have problem. Oh, no, okay, no, 3.5 is oral. Because yes. when we say oral, the mouth... That's the tongue, the teeth, everything that yes, has the to, gums and stuff. The gums, yes. But 2.5, I think about 2.3 billion people, the problem is with the teeth. Yes. What are we doing that we're not doing right? That that number of people. I don't want to imagine what it's like in Nigeria. <laughs> I don't want to imagine what it's like, you know, here in Nigeria in terms of the statistics. Yes, it's the number is increasing. Uh, let me say so because it's now that people are going into research, mm. you know, to take note of all these uh, dental issues. You know, I'm sure if we have our own statistics 
compared today and maybe 10 years ago, you will see that there is a marked increase mm. in the number of cases that mm. are present. You know, some have been lost due to lack of research. That's what, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But as it is coming up, people are doing more research, you know, into the various villages and schools. Mm. So we now have, you know, it's as if there's an increased number. That's why I said if you compare what we have now yeah. with what was done maybe five years ago, the increase is marked. Mm. Um, so what have we been doing? Of course, the increase has is so much yes of course so are we eating more sugar because <laughs> i know everybody when you eat it, ah, it's not good for your teeth yes what are we doing that is causing this um rise well, yes well like i said you know research wasn't being done before, done before so yes, the number course. wasn't there, there yeah. it's been done now so we have the numbers so that's why i said if you compare the number now mm -hmm. with when we supposedly Okay. I've been doing research maybe like five years ago. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's an increase. Increasing. Why? Our diet is, uh, is more Western than it used to be. Our diet? Yes. And the teeth? Yes. I thought it's diet and hypertension, diet and diabetes. What has diet got to do with the teeth? You know, it's... Uh, it's it, what you take inside that, <laughs> that <laughs> defies you. Let yes. me put it out. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. You know, those things that tend to be sweet in the mouth, you know, just as they affect, just like you said, it affects, you know, um, hypertension and all, yes. diabetes mm -hmm. and all. Mm -hmm. Likewise, it affects your mouth as well. So those things that are sweet don't only really affect your heart, you know, mm -hmm. they affect your mouth as well. So it's just so the sweet things, or if you eat too much of a, a fatty food, or if you, because I'm imagining now, of course, whatever you is going to get into your body will pass yes. through you. It has to chew it at some point yes, or yes, get yes, it. Yes. So if if you if you're eating more of a fatty food, it affects the teeth, or if you okay, eat. Let, let me. Okay. Yes, you know, back in the days, just like our great grandfathers and stuff, you know, they they take more of food directly from the farm okay yes you just yes, cook natural. food directly okay, from mm -hmm. the farm vegetables you know um, grains and all but if i ask you now you must have taken this bottle of soft drink today you know you must have taken some pastries yeah. as it were today yeah. you know you must have taken maybe sweets and stuff maybe chocolate and all today, mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. which wasn't there before. Yeah, years ago. It is increasingly coming into our diet now. Okay. Yeah, you are sending the child to school. Inside the flask, there is tea. A beverage, sorry. Beverage. You have beverage. Mm -hmm. You know, there's biscuit to follow it. And when the child comes back, there's a bottle of soft drink mm -hmm, waiting mm -hmm. for him. Maybe, you know, ice cream and stuff. So, the things that we weren't taking before, we are taking now you know so and those sweet things let me put it clearly refined sugars mm -hmm. the ones that are refined and those are the ones that are the main culprits you know in causing you know dental problems okay yes so as bad as this food is inside your body it's equally as bad as it is it as it is when you take them of course this is the first place they go to yes before okay so what do these things do today when you take them? Is it okay? I know there's this thing that was going on. This particular fizzy drink. If you put, you yeah, know, yeah, pull that into, <laughs> is that is that what it does? Really, is it like when you no. drink it? That's what <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not what it does. Okay. So how do they? What? Okay, okay. Let me tell you how it happens. You know the way God made us. Mm. You know we have some bacteria in the mouth that God put it there, they are there with us. Okay. Yes, they are normal oral flora bacteria. So they are there to maybe balance, clean the oil? Yes. Okay, okay. okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. So they are normal, we are living with them. Okay. Yes. So they like these sweet things. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Who doesn't like sweet things? <laughs> Even the bacteria <laughs> like sweet things. 
So usually what happens is when you take those things that are sweet, those bacteria feed on them. Mm -hmm. They are byproduct of what they do is acidic. Mm -hmm. So it's that acid that wears your tooth down. Okay. Yes. But God also did something for us to protect us from that. You know, we have saliva in the mouth. So, yeah, mm -hmm. you know, when the, the saliva has a, a, is a buffer, so as the pH goes down, mm -hmm. the saliva buffers it so, so that it's maintained, maintained yeah. yes, at an equilibrium. Okay. So usually when you take something that is very sweet, the pH goes down. Mm -hmm. It becomes more acidic. It becomes more acidic. More acidic yeah. You know, the saliva buffers it. But if you keep taking it regularly, yeah. you know, so that's what happens. You keep taking it regularly, the saliva buffers, you know, but it gets to a point where, especially when you are asleep, mm. the saliva doesn't flow very well. Like when you are awake, you are talking and all. Mm. So that your teeth are baited in an acid environment. If you sleep from 10 till 6, so it's from 10 till 6 a.m., your teeth are bitter in acid. So okay. more of the damage is done usually. At night? Yes. But is it only peculiar to sweet things or there yes, are other yeah. foods that... Yes, yeah, it's peculiar to sweet. It's sweet like acid things. refined. Oh, okay, yes, yes. Uh, as in... Um, yes, refined. But natu non -natural yes, sugars, not natural sugars, yes. Okay, like your yes. fizzy drinks, your yes. cakes, your sweets. Yes. When you take them... Oh, now I see why they say you should brush your teeth in the evening. Does it change anything? Yeah, we advocate that you brush in the evening before you go to sleep. Okay. You floss, yeah, you brush. Then you won't take anything again till the following day. Okay, uh, you know, I'm yeah. going to come back for us to talk yeah, about we'll this floss there. and all, uh, and yeah. uh, floss and uh, this thing. So now, if, if you take sweet things and then you drink water. Yes. Or you rinse your mouth. Does yes. it make any difference? Or yeah, it would. Okay. It would. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Like I said, it's repeated assault on it. It's repeated assault. That's where, that's where the da the harm. Okay, is done. happens. Yes. Okay, just for the benefit of the people that are watching now. Yeah. So what happens is when you take things that are refined, that yes. are too. You see, when we when you talk about this, the fizzy drinks, the sweet things. When it's, people just think is just for the inside, the body, yes. but actually it has. Yeah, it has. Know, it. This, in fact, the problem starts in the mouth. In the mouth, which yes. Is, it this in is, the so mouth. when you take these things, the bacteria feed on it, produce the, the acid. acid, and then these are the acids that cause yeah, the, decay on the, the decay on the tooth. Yeah. So that's the basic. That's yes. the, the basic yes. that causes. So it, yeah. it's not possible to naturally just have constant problem with your tooth being wearing out or this has to be the only process or yes basically yes there are several theories that we won't go into that it's yes. mainly academic mm -hmm. yes but this this is the one that mainly captures you know the process okay but yeah. are there now foods that you can eat that helps the bacteria in your mouth stay not behave normal <laughs> Yeah, the end. normal oral flora, mm -hmm. they help us by causing the ones that will cause, harm cause harm not to grow. So this is good bacteria now, yes. fighting for us yes. against the bad ones yes. from growing. Yes. So if you, if you maintain a good balance in your mouth, yes. or in a normal day, where does it stay? Does it stay more neutral? pH level 7.0 is that what on normal without taking you know of course if you take something sweet it, 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 yeah, it goes becomes down. so yeah. on a normal this thing you have a neutral yeah kind like 6.5 okay 6.5 yes around okay yes. okay all right because I just wanted to the bacteria thing is just uh, you know playing around in my okay, head okay. <laughs> so that's really because I know in the gut there's the guts bacteria and sometimes you know, when they're yes. damaged, it causes a lot of problems. Yes. I didn't realize we have yes. this um, yes. number yeah, of... Yeah, in fact, we we tell people not to use these mouthwashes too often. Okay. Yeah, you know, they, they affect or destroy the normal oral flora too. 
hold on. Okay, now, lately, yes, I started noticing pain in my teeth. I think, I think I'm your first patient today. <laughs> And it, it, it's just, it started like four, four days ago. I noticed that there's this pain around the, the, the tooth area. It's difficult to, to chew with this area, you know. Now, because we're talking about this mouthwash, and I realized that I got a particular brand of mouthwash. And since I started using it, that's when I started feeling that. I don't know if he has anything to do with that, but I'm just telling you as a professional. And then I realized two days I haven't used it. And I'm fine. I haven't really felt anything. Any. But we'll go on a break and we'll come back so that we'll, we'll talk, talk about that. my matter. <laughs> and hoping that there are people watching who are having similar problems so that they can learn from this. Let me be the guinea pig for today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll be right back viewers with more of this discussion on oral health. Now stream. Now analyzing, now assessing, now discussing, now sharing your thoughts on everything and every issue that affects you. ACNN is now streaming, discusses the issues trending and the matters that matter to us all. Join us every Monday to Friday at 10 a.m. on ACNN as we go in-depth into every issue that impacts our lives, our communities and our country. Welcome back, viewers. Before we went to the break, we we're discussing oral health, and my guest is still Dr. Ebiko Ayewa. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I've learned so much today. But now back to my matter. Yeah. <laughs> back to my matter. And I noticed that just because you said this and it clicked that for two days I haven't used the mouthwash. The pain has been there, but um, for two days I didn't use the mouthwash. I think I'm feeling. Better. Better. I don't know if I presented my case properly. <laughs> <laughs> we, you know, there are so many things that can cause okay, okay. the pains. Mm. So, you know, your teeth, or rather your tooth sits mm -hmm. inside bone. Okay. A okay. socket of bone. Mm -hmm. Then you have the gum, the one that you see when you yeah, which open is your mouth. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then you have other things that attach the tooth. We call them ligaments. Okay. The tooth to the bone. Okay. Yes. Okay, so something is attaching the tooth to the bone. Yes. Okay, which the which is covered with the gum. Gum. Okay. Then there's the bone underneath that okay. the tooth sits Sitting. inside. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right. So sometimes <laughs> in the mouthwash. No, what I'm trying to say is okay. so many things Pains. can cause the pains. Okay. Yes. Okay. It could be from the gum. Okay. Mm? Okay. It could be from the tooth itself. Okay. Yes. From the ligaments or from the bone. All of them still present the same kind of pain. Yes. All right. So it's when you do... Yeah, when we examine it closely. Okay. When we take a radiograph. Okay. Yes, like an x ray. Okay. It now tells us where the problem is from. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. Okay, which means <laughs> I need to come and see you. I'm yes. <laughs> sure that I'm fine. Yes. <laughs> but because I never had any issues with my teeth, I, I try to do the right things. You know, most people they boast in this way that I've never been to the hospital for the past so, so, so number of years. Okay. Or since I was born, I've never been to the hospital. You know, they beat their chest as if it's something so that they do. Yeah, it's not something to be proud of. Mm. You know, just like uh, your car that you take for checks regularly, you're supposed to take your body for checks. Okay. Unfortunately, most people take the rest of their body for checks, but their mouth is they say, "Is it not these teeth? Mm -hmm. Is it not these teeth? These small teeth?" So they don't. Mm. You know. So, even if you are not taking anything from this discussion, <laughs> regular checks, just like you do your body, mm -hmm. you do for your mouth as well. It goes a long way. I must confess, I've never. <laughs> <laughs> it goes a long way. You okay. know, yes, we need to change the way we see the dentist. You know, 
most people is pains that bring them to the dentist. Mm. But somehow, you know, what causes the pain is lost somewhere to the point that they feel is the dentist that causes the pain. And that's it. I'm telling you the truth. Oh, really? Yes. Some people feel, ah, the dental chair, ah, don't go there. It's as if that's where the whole pain in the world <laughs> comes from. But when you look at it critically, mm. it is pain that brought that person. Person, yeah. Yeah. I just saw one man recently say, if you take your teeth to the dentist, you will keep it. But if your teeth takes you to the dentist, you may lose it. You may lose it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just feeling guilty sitting here because I don't yeah. think I've ever been to the dentist. Yeah, I know it's something that we should. We should imbibe, should be a culture. Yes. How frequently should we? Every six months is okay. Okay. Yes. Okay, I, I think I'm going to ask questions on some things that is around. But okay, when you say something, let me let you conclude on your thoughts. Yes, like I said, I wonder is every six months. Mm -hmm. The, it doesn't have to be when you have pain that you go. Okay. You just Even when there's nothing? Yes. Just, I just want to check okay. my mouth. Okay. I want to check my mouth. Okay, so when, when, when somebody comes to you, of course you check their teeth, but you also check the condition of the mouth environment yes, to be sure everything yes. is okay. Yes, yes. I know that. Yes. Okay. You know, recently there are lots of these things on whitening of teeth. You have all these, even some tooth, toothpaste you see. One is for the tooth brushing, the other one is for whitening. People say they go for whitening. Is it a good thing to go and do? Is it a good thing to meet you? Can somebody come to you and say, I want to whiten my teeth? Or why would somebody, before we go to why would somebody's teeth <laughs> not remain white? Yes, yes. Um, people do it. Mm -hmm. You know, um, people. You know, everybody wants to look fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. There are some persons that, when they were little, you know, they took some drugs. You know, if you go for antenatal, and let me just start from this okay, place. Okay, okay. You know, there was this Alma Mater conference some years ago where primary, primary health care was discussed. So it has eight elements. Uh, if I can remember all of them, there's... Uh, maternal health, mm -hmm. uh, provision of good drugs, safe environment, safe drugs, you know. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the oral health wasn't captured in it. So we are suffering that now. It was captured much later. But if you go to a primary health care center today, there's no oral health as part of it. You only do immunization, you know, uh, maternal health. Um, what else? The, you know, yeah, every other thing. Safe drugs. All yeah, safe drugs. You, but you so don't. oral health is not there. So at that level where everybody is supposed to be able to assess oral health, it is not there. Hmm. So even if you are putting up a primary health care center tomorrow, oral health will not be captured in it. Oh, wow. Because it's actually overlooked. Yeah, it's, it's overlooked. It's not even considered. Yes. And the interesting so, thing is that this oral health that is not considered globally, the 3.5 billion people that have issues with it. Yeah. And I don't think there's any other ailments that have affects that number of people. Yes, yes. Wow. Yes, it's, it's huge. Mm. You know. So going back to, to bleaching that we're talking about, White. whitening okay, of teeth. Okay, yes, bleaching. whitening. You know, most people that come for antenatal, you know, especially even at that primary health care center, some, they tell them, some drugs that you shouldn't take when you are pregnant, you know, like tetracycline. If you take them, the mother takes it, you know, the children's teeth may come out brownish and all. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, okay. those ones you can bleach. Okay. But some of them can the be so deep that deep, okay. you may need to do some other procedures, right, like okay. crowning, in order to mask the color. Mm. That's for the children after the parents. The yes, mother yes, takes yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. yes. Okay. But there are some, like we we found out, you know, the, the color of your skin somehow goes with the color of your teeth, basically. Mm. Yes. Basically. It's very dark. Yeah, your teeth appear white. White. <laughs> ah. <laughs> It gets a dark background. It gets a dark background, yes. 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 But is a white teeth, is it an indication of a healthy teeth? The fact that your teeth is white, does it mean your teeth Wh is in a very good position? When you say white, not really. Not really. 
Not so just as you easy. said, some people it could be you, it's not, it's not, it doesn't appear white enough yes. because of their skin. Yes, or, you know, some can be so consumed about the color that they want a white teeth no matter what they want it, you know. So in that case, they just want it white, that's all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yes. Mm -hmm. Any whiter shade that is available, <laughs> they want it. They want the white. Yes. So it doesn't, so really, your teeth may not be white, but it's still healthy yeah, if you're yeah, doing yeah, a yeah. normal checkup. Yes. And yeah, my, my teeth, they are not white. But they are healthy. They are healthy. Yeah, of course, it should be healthy. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it should I be healthy. I practice what I preach. You practice what you preach, which is good. <laughs> which is good. Because I'm just thinking now, I think I need to see. Okay, maybe I'll start with this thing <laughs> to, to check and be sure that everything is okay with me. Yeah. And let's talk of um, um, toothpaste okay. that we use in cleaning um, the mouth. Yes, yes. Does it clean the mouth? Let me take it from here too. Okay. You know, back. In the days, the olden days, you know, they used chewing stick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yes. Yeah. But you could see somebody carrying chewing stick, just put it in the mouth, goes to the farm, goes around with it every time or everywhere all through the day. Those are but it doesn't classy. use it yeah, to, do what to brush it. Do. it, just puts it there. Okay. <laughs> so it's just there. It's <laughs> it's not, just they're not doing anything. Not doing anything. Okay. So that to um, that chewing stick is supposed to be used effectively okay. to, to brush. To brush okay. Yes. Coming to toothpaste mm -hmm. that we use now, there are several. So many of them. Yes, there are so many. Promising so many things. Yes, there are so many of them. But I will recommend the ones that are made, or, the, or rather, that has this Nigerian Dental Association that he recommends. Ah. Yes, so anytime you are buying a toothpaste, Mm -hmm. If you look on the body, does it have endorsed by the Nigerian Dental Association? Okay. Yes. Yes. So, which means the Dental Association would have looked at it yeah, and they seen looked that at it, it is yes. it's proper yes. to be used yes. for the Nigerian yes. person. Yes. So, that's what everybody should know. So, when yes. you buy your tooth um, paste, no matter how beautiful it looks, yes. no matter how foreign, it's too. How foreign, how foreign it looks, or how mm. advertised yes. It, yes. It, it was. Look at it and know that um, yes. it, it's approved by the or recommended yes. by the yes. dental association. Yes. There's something that's inside the toothpaste. We call it fluoride. Yeah, that's the popular one. Fluoride in the toothpaste. Mm -hmm. You know, it helps to strengthen your teeth against uh, decay. Okay, the fluoride protects against decay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. You know, before we used to have. Um, pipe bomb water that goes everywhere, you know. So at those places, they add some of this fluoride okay. into the drinking water that goes to the community. All right, okay, okay. But if I ask you, you have your borehole in your house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so based on that, you know, the quantity of fluoride in a toothpaste is regulated. Having it in mind that we don't have it in public water, nobody gets public water as it used yeah, to be used before. To be. Mm -hmm. So fluoride is important. In yes. Space, so but those foreign ones, you know, there they can have fluoride uh, even in their salt. They have it in their sugar. Mm. They have it in most of their food. So the fluoride content in most of those foreign ones are not as much oh, as, as, as the ones that are made look okay okay yes. okay okay yes oh now I understand so in the foreign ones that especially the ones not recommended by the dental association of nigeria yes there is uh, the content of the fluoride is not enough yes as commensurate to what we live our reality exactly. in exactly. this part of the exactly. world all right okay so it's important look out for yes that yes. approval yes from the endorsement. dental association endorsement yes. by the it's because of the fluoride and the yes. fluoride helps in um Protect your protecting tooth against the tooth against decay. decay. Yes. Decay. Very important. Yes. Very important. Yes. Okay. Um, when we come back, we're going to another break, but we'll okay. come back. We'll talk about how to brush the teeth well. Okay. <laughs> so that we know we're doing the right <laughs> thing. And then we'll talk about some things that I know we do, like using of charcoal to wash our teeth to know if it's the right thing. So we'll be right back, viewers.
Hi, my name is Oluwada Milola Ilupeju, and I'm your host on the program Joshua Generation. This program promises to be so enriching, wonderful, fun, and interesting. Use the say are the leaders of tomorrow. What do you think will happen to the next generation if these youths are not trained for tomorrow? We are a chosen generation. We've been called for to show his excellence. A particular set of people that has a demarcation. Never ever think you are a mistake. We are a chosen generation. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness cannot comprehend it. That is a legacy. Joshua and his generation saw the miracle. They walk to the Red Sea. Whenever you introspect, there are deep desires of the heart that you wish you could do. Where he says I'm mad, I know who I am. There are lots of distractions for young people around the world right now. If you don't engage them in the church, if you don't support their talent, nature abhors vacuum. I am believing God that the Lord will move again, once again, in our time and in our generation. And our eyes shall see it. Welcome back, viewers. Before we went on the break, we were discussing your oral health. And my guest is still Dr. Ebiko Ayeba. Thank you very much, sir. I think I'm learning a lot because <laughs> I'm a victim, so I'm learning so much of um, taking care of your teeth. So we talked about fluoride. Let me just go recap it again. When you want to buy your toothpaste, look out for the one endorsed by the Dental Association of Nigeria. Yes. Because exactly. it has enough um, fluoride. Yes you know, to help in protecting the teeth from decay. Those ones that are foreign, that um, um, they might not have enough, yes. you know, to meet to what is required yes. in our Locally. own climb. Yeah. Okay, so thank you very much. That's a very good one. So I'll go and check my toothpaste <laughs> now when I get to, if it has the dentist, not it's going to be big. Okay, so now let's talk about how to brush. Now it looks like a, in primary school, say brush up, up, down, left, left, but really, not many people know how to brush. Yes. It's amazing. Yes. Yeah. L let's start from um, the toothbrush itself. Okay. Uh oh, okay. <laughs> so there's a problem with the toothbrush. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, I see some patients that they really want to keep their mouth clean. Mm -hmm. So they go to get a very hard one because they feel the harder, the better. Oh my God, there is one particular brand. Oh. Yes. Ah. <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> Some, the, because of the way they have used it, because the toothbrush is very hard, mm. they have worn grooves on their teeth. Okay. Grooves like gutter. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh, this teeth like this? It wears down. So after some time, the thing will just break. Ah. Yes. Yeah. So okay. wrong use of very hard toothbrush. We shouldn't use cause, hard toothbrush yes, at all. Yes, okay. cause a lot of harm. Okay. So we recommend that just like I said, you know, you come and clean your mouth in the clinic. So when you do that and you get a soft brush, it is very okay for you. And you use it very okay. technically, use it well. You are mm. okay, very okay. Okay, so you need a soft toothbrush. Brush and you go for cleaning regularly. Like every year. You clean? Every, every year, year is okay. Year. Yes. You be, I don't want to say what I want to say right now. I, I, I don't even want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say what I want to say right now, but let's just continue. Okay, so the toothbrush shouldn't be hard. It shouldn't be hard. It shouldn't be hard. Then you have the ones that, there's the one that is just flat on the top. Yes. And then there are some that have different, um, no, some are longer. Yes, some yes, are yes, yes. Smaller, yes. some are round in the yeah, middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does it make any difference? Yes, it does. I think what happens mainly is how you use it. Okay. Be it flat or has a... All those... Yes. So all those things don't really matter. It's how you use it's it. It's how you use it. Oh, okay. It's how you use it. Okay. Yeah, so your, your toothbrush should be soft. Okay. Then you should use it for three months. Then you discard it. Three months? Yes, you discard it. Okay. Yes. I, I think some people should get awards for using their toothbrush for... <laughs> yes. 
Okay. Okay. Now I see what my teeth has been paining me. <laughs> Every right. three months you change it. Okay. Yes. Okay. And it's also recommended that if you get, even if you buy one today, uh, somewhere you take ill, you know, like kata, whatever airway respiratory infection, you just, okay. as it's going, you discard it and get another one. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. So your toothbrush. So, okay. Yeah, okay. You change it every three months. Change every three months. Change it after you take ill. Okay. Yes. Change it when you take ill after yes. you you recover. Yes. Throw change that it. one and use a new yeah, one. Okay. Get a new one. Okay. This must be soft. Okay. Then the times that you brush are very important too. Okay. Yes. Okay. Lasting at night. This one goes for mothers too. You know, some children would like to wake up in the night and take something again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's best that, you know, in, when they are going to sleep, brush their teeth. Okay. Like I said earlier on, you know, when your teeth are in close contact with uh, an acidic environment, environment for a long period, mm -hmm. that's when most of the harm okay, is done. Yeah, happens, yeah. So we may feel that when you wake up in the morning, the one you brush in the morning is most important. No. Okay. That okay, one you do at night. At night is um, Yes. So yeah. when you brush at night, when you are waking up in the morning, you can afford to take your breakfast first before you brush in the morning. Okay. Let me go over it again. Okay, please do. <laughs> because, uh, you know, there are people watching now. Yes. And I think you can send in your comments now with the numbers showing on your screen. Just send us a comment. Send us your question. If you have any, just send to us and then we will communicate to the... Um, doctors, go ahead, sir. Yes, uh, yeah. you know, they are. We always feel that when we are taking our baths in the morning, mm -hmm. the, your toothbrush is inside the bathroom, you brush, take your bath, and then you go out. You know, we feel that you know, you need to brush in the night, lasting before you go to sleep. Yeah, there's nothing inside your mouth, any refined sugars, mm -hmm. any leftover food that's in your mouth would have been. Taking off. Taking off. So yes. your mouth is basically clean. Okay. Yes. So when you wake up in the morning, you can afford to have your breakfast first okay, first before you brush. Okay. Yes. Okay. So what we've been doing, yes. see what we know. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know what we know. Yeah, yes. <laughs> we all went through that. We all went through <laughs> that. So whatever you have been doing is wrong. Yeah. The right thing to do is brush last thing in the night don't eat yes. anything again yes. you know after you brush your teeth yes. then in the morning you can afford to have your breakfast yes. before you brush again yes. then you leave yes. not the normal thing we do eat go to bed brush first thing in the morning and eat then eat him, eat the food and now i see why we are teeth is in trouble okay at, at least i can praise myself for the night one <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you know because, but it feels better in the morning when you when you brush at night it yes, feels yes. a lot better yeah it does you know at, at when you wake yes. up in the morning you don't yes. have all those yes, yes. feeling yeah okay yeah. all right okay that's a good care for the teeth yeah okay so the toothbrush change every three months every three months you know okay before i even go over that is there a way of cleaning the toothbrush Maybe once a week, two times a week, or it's just okay to keep it. Because I saw some, so I saw some somebody say something, soak the toothbrush overnight in a mouthwash, and it will be clean. Yes, we we just recommend when you finish brush, you just rinse it very rinse well, it, okay. then keep it in a in a secure place. Okay, and, and don't allow a, those little things inside. You know, sometimes the toothpaste can remain. Yeah, you know, you just you rinse, rinse make sure everything yeah. is off. off, off rinse off. it very well. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm. okay. That's a bit. Let's mm. talk about the um, tumor. Let okay. me just take us back a little. Okay, no problem. Yes. Uh, you know, children can have decay as well. You know, we are want to just tell the child to go and brush. Yeah. They may not do it well. Do it well, yeah. So I think mothers and fathers too, you know, you can brush your child's teeth even up to the age of 10. Mm. You know, you can alternate. Say, okay, in the night you just brush for him, in the morning he does it for himself, for himself yeah. if it's too much for you. But I tell you, if you do it for them, you will be happier for you happier because for, yeah. seeing a child with toothache can be very harrowing. 
This two, the two egg children have is it the same one with the with their milk teeth? The, you know when they're they younger, can they can have the milk teeth can be decayed and they can have pains from it, as well as the permanent ones. Oh, oh okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. So, so you can see a child that's three years old, you know, with two decayed already with oh. pains. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. That's horrible. So yeah. the, the brushing at night is not just for adults. No, no, no. For no. children as yes, well. Yes. Brush as at well. night. Yes. You know, and then you, can, you yes. especially help them. Yes. Brush properly. Yes. You know, children love to take ice cream and sweet stuff. Mm -hmm. So we recommend that they take them during meal times. Okay. Yes. After a meal or yes, before? okay. Yes. Especially before a meal. All right. They yes. shouldn't just eat it. Yes. In, yes. Before nothing. Yes. Okay. Let them take it before meals. Why? Because when they are taking the meals, whatever refined sugars are there, you know, whatever you are eating takes everything and you take it in. All right. Okay. Okay. Yes. So you So what we are trying to avoid is having the refined sugars in your mouth for an extended period. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. okay. yes. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Yes. I believe people are being yes. that. When you're just saying everything you're saying, uh, just to show you how we got to this actually. Yes. yes. This number of people yes, having yes. tooth problems. Yes. So the tumor, the, yes. the, the, the tumor, in the, does it just, is it because we don't brush as well? That that no, 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 that one is a different okay, presentation okay. entirely. All right. <laughs> yes. Okay. It's entirely. You know, just like you can have decay in the mouth, other, you can have tumors on other parts of your body. Yeah. You know, your mouth has the tissues that are in every other part of the body, so they can mm. also come down with any of those things. So, whenever you notice anything that is untoward in your mouth, please come for checkup. Because we see some children with tumors. Well, usually, they are not painful, so they could just be going around with it. So, by the time it, it defaces them, you know, when they are coming, it's already grown so big. Okay, so the the, the ones that sometimes you see, yes. like looking like moms, looking yeah. like there's a pain here, or how is it? I, I don't know. How do you identify that? I, I wish I had some pictures. We, okay. we had we had a, a child come recently, so just a lower lip that was, you know, very big. You know, since birth. And the boy should be about seven, eight now. So you wonder where they've been since. Where they've been since? I didn't know. Yes. So we if you notice any little unusual growth. Yes, we had also a a, a twelve year old girl recently too. And with oh. the swelling, it wasn't painful. So yeah. so it nearly res re resulted in her jaw being cut off, you know. Oh. So those are it. If you come early, the treatment is always Okay, know, yes, easier, easier and better for the patient. For children, you know, just as we said, you, you recommend that we do um, a dental check. Yes. Do you do for children as yes. well? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, let me go into that too. Okay. Uh, for children, especially when they are growing up, they are supposed to shed some teeth at some particular mm -hmm. age. Mm -hmm. If you don't follow them up, maybe someone is retained in the mouth for long. By the time they are getting older, you need to pay an orthodontist. Those ones that help you set your teeth with braces, yeah, pay them. Yeah, yeah. It's a huge sum. Okay. It's a huge sum. Yeah. You know. Oh. So regular checks, you know, prevent you from paying something bigger at yeah. a later date. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So we recommend that when you come regularly and they see you, okay, this one needs to go and it's still there. They could help remove it. Remove it. And if your child has a habit, either is sucking the tongue uh, or thrusting the tongue mm -hmm. or some other habits that that can affect the mouth at a later date, there are some things they can do as well to okay. help out. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. So what we are trying to do is there are some little things you can do now that will prevent something much later. Yeah. Later. On. Yeah. You know everything you have said today yes. is actually things we do and take for granted yes when you have ulcers in the mouth like a wound mm -hmm. in your mouth maybe it's there for over a week please bring it for it to be checked okay now the ulcer part let me understand just like a, you know sometimes wounds just yeah. appear on your mouth yes the that gum is it. is, and it's very painful yes is it the same 
Yeah, yes, okay. all those ones, aptos also. Those ones, when you have stress and some of that imbalances mm -hmm. like they come. But within a few days, they're supposed they to go. Up, yeah. But if they are there for a week plus and they are still there, you, you need to have it checked. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I know. So even in between here, yes. you just, they see some. Um, yes. So they're really painful. The yes. pain is really, really yes. bad. But I must add to. Okay. Right. Smoking and alcohol. They are not good. For the teeth. <laughs> yes. For the mouth. For especially. the mouth. In the yes. And they are the Smoking first alcohol. contact. Yes. Because they increase the risk of one having cancers in the mouth. In the mouth. So when you, when people smoke, mm -hmm. is it just the cancer, or I know it also affect the color of the teeth? Is it or? Yeah. I know sometimes they say people that smoke they have Their this dark lip dark and, and yeah. all of that. Yeah. Okay, it's because of the the, the content. Yes, of the, the okay. content. Yes. Okay. Yes. But we are mainly concerned with the cancers it can cause. Okay. Yes. So even the alcohol itself. Yes, it increases the risk. Increases the risk. Oh, mm. wow. There's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot we have yes, to do yes, on our teeth to yes. get it. Um, yeah. In the, so when you okay, now cold drinks. Yes. Does it? You know, even there are times you take drinks so you and then you have these uh, <laughs> sharp yes sharp as and some adverts have told locking. us that if you use their yeah, particular product you won't feel it again <laughs> i don't know how true that is but yes you won't mm -hmm. okay all right some yeah. of the yes the, 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 the mouth the uh, toothpaste okay. yes all yes. right okay yeah, they really help okay yes and let me just say this you know whatever is causing something that is not normal you know should be addressed okay yes the toothpaste could just give you a relief all right it will give you relief from that but whatever is causing it should be addressed hmm. 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 Okay. yes because if you have a cavity when you are taking something that is cooled it can shock seriously okay. so but when you use the toothpaste it may ameliorate it may abate Okay. But it is not filling that cavity. Mm. Oh, it's clear. Okay. Yes. Is there anything like worms in the teeth? It, it, this thing happened some years ago. My cousin had, she always had this pain in, the, in her teeth. And she went somewhere, I don't know, and they put <laughs> something in the water. And she, <laughs> and she opened her mouth over it. And some things came out. And... You laughed, I'm sure. It yes, sounds like you, you, you're, you, know, well, you're, you know that that doesn't happen in a dental clinic. Obviously, it's not in a dental clinic. Yes, yes so it, it really happens. It it's, yeah. I feel it's magic. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, it's not scientific. Uh, yes. I don't know anybody that is alive can have worms inside the body. Okay, yes. okay, yes. okay, okay. So they do those things to make you believe that... Um, it's magic, it's, yes. Uh, mm. okay. well, in my years of practice, I've not seen a worm in somebody's mouth. Somebody Maybe after you extract the tooth, you now bring out the worm. Yeah, it's like that. Yes, it's my my teachers have not seen too, <laughs> and the books that we read, I've not has, said anything like that. Yes. Okay, that's a good one. So maybe yes. I should tell her that they fooled you. Yes, you know. <laughs> okay. Those that go there, eventually they end up in the dental clinic. Yes, of so course. So why wouldn't you just really come to the yeah. clinic, you know, in the first instance, mm -hmm. instead of going to look for, for, for remedy, remedy, which is not enough somewhere else? Does know? charcoal, now you know what I'm asking for the charcoal, there's even a, a new toothpaste that is actually, it has charcoal in it, you know, and it's really expensive. Not, not too expensive, but it's expensive. Yes. You know, I remember when I was little, my mom would bring charcoal and, you know, tell us to brush our teeth. Does it do anything? Is it a good thing? It, um, oh, there are no studies yet. <laughs> what, what exactly those things have is uh, abrasives. Something tough? Yes, yeah, something, something tough. Something hard? Yeah, yeah yes. that's what it does. Uh -huh. That's what it does. Okay. Yes. You know... Let's say, let's say if you the toothpaste that we use, 
you know, they use abrasives inside. Some, yeah, some of them, yes, yes they have yes, these yes, particles in yes, them yeah. make you feel like it's scrubbing yes, more yes. on the surface. Yes, so that's basically it's that mechanical thing. Okay, that that's it all. Does. It's not so that's all, doesn't do that's anything. That's all, yes. It's not as if there's anything there. Okay. You know. Let's say somebody has stains from maybe tetracycline use mm -hmm. when they were little. Mm -hmm. You could just try it out with uh, that charcoal and let me tell me what happens. Um, I, I charcoal no, no, okay, okay, nothing all right. Okay, nothing will happen. It doesn't make any difference. Yeah, it won't make any difference. Okay, so all those things are yeah, just yeah. um okay, let's talk finally about the tongue. The, the mouth order. The yes, major issue sometimes some people you can't even go close to them. Yes. Yes. You know, you normally let's say you are in class, you brush your teeth from home, you get to class, you listen to a lecture for about forty yes, minutes and you don't by the time you yes. Yeah. So that is not any issue at all. Mm -hmm. You know, but there are some persons that have you can't sit close to them. You know, it's really offensive. Mm. Yes. Some if you have a cavity in your teeth, your food that you ate oh. are lodged in there. When it decays, the offer the order yeah, will be offensive. Be offensive. So there are many things that cause that cause a uh, mouth order. If you are not brushing well, mm -hmm. there are some persons when you look at the inside the mouth, they have lots of calculus or tata. Hmm? Okay, like that's those white things in between. Yes, in between. Or? Yes. Okay, okay. It means you're not brushing well. You're not brushing well. Brushing well. So your okay. teeth certainly. Okay. Yes, you have that foul odor from it. Wow. Yes. Okay, so if you can clean, is yes. that where the flossing comes into play? Yeah, you know when they say floss. Because yes. recently, you know, it's important. I, I've always been thought to floss, but yeah. People don't see the importance of yeah, um, you need to floss, flossing. Yes, yes. So that's the thing you put in between to, yes. just to take out everything in yes, between the teeth. Yes. Okay. So if somebody has mouth odor and you come, the, do the doctor will check mm. where it is coming from. Is it from the mouth? If you have a, a infection in the sinuses, okay, okay. you can have it as well. Oh, right, yes, okay. if there's, you have issues with your tonsils, you can have it as well. So uh, they need to ascertain where, where it from. is coming from and okay. they will address it. Ah, uh, okay, yes, okay. Yes. So that's the thing for, for, for yes, the, the smell of the mouth. Yes. It could be from... So when they come to the uh, to the hospital to see you and yes. then you do the washing, sometimes just the washing can even yeah, take, can care, it, of yeah, can take care, can of take care of it. Yes. Then the tongue, I think we'll wrap it up there, okay. the tongue. <laughs> what do we do with the tongue? Because they said sometimes that's also responsible for smell. It, yes. Or, uh, yeah. Yeah. Usually we have this tongue scraper. Okay, the know. tongue scraper. Yeah, yes. Yes. You see it. it. Then we move with your normal soft brush. You could just brush. brush. Your, yes. So it's an integral part of your brushing time. Yeah, it's an integral time. part so of your brushing time. Don't don't yes. don't leave it when you're brushing. Yes. Okay. Yes. I think the tongue needs to be taken care of okay. as well. Mm -hmm. Um, while we are here, you know, we. Uh, those that have certain habits, mm -hmm. you know, certain habits like um, or certain social way of of things. Let mm -hmm. me put it that way. You know, had someone who was involved in uh, like oral sex. Okay. You know, then develop certain things on the tongue. Okay. Oh. You know. right. So just like you have. Um, uh, papilloma, papilloma virus. Yes, papilloma yes, HPV, it yeah. have, yes, it affects the tongue as well. Okay. So there are some things that you need to keep away from. Oh, in right. order that. Uh, okay, one yes. of the care of the mouth yes. is also oral sex shouldn't yes. be um, yes. a consideration. Yes. That's the word. Yes. Okay. Well, that it's. Let me not say. <laughs> no, it, yeah, exactly. Yes. I understand. But in a setting where, where, as Christians, mm -hmm. where. A, a marriage setting, I, I don't know how some yes, people see it though, see the, uh -huh. mm -hmm. but... Okay, but of course it's because just like human papilloma virus, yes. when you have lots of partners, then you become yes. more yeah, predisposed yeah. to yeah. them. Okay. Yeah. Thank you I so much. I think there's a lot we need to talk about. Yes, there's a whole lot we need yes. to talk about. I think you need yes. to come back then, so I'm yes. going to pull you back. Sorry, before we go. Okay. Whenever you are brushing your teeth, your mouth should be open. Your mouth should be open. Your teeth should not be touching. Yes, that way. Oh, your teeth. Yes. Oh, yes, right. So it shouldn't be like this. Yes. I'm sure you see on certain oh. commercials.
Yes, where, exactly. So yeah, why are we it's why not, are we opening? Why, why are it's we? Not appropriate. It's not appropriate. Okay. Yes. Yes. Your mouth should be open. It should be open. Yes. Okay. Then the opt the opt it you brush it down. Then the down it you brush it up. Well, if you're brushing your mouth open, you home or you? No, no, no. Try it. <laughs> okay, just try it. Yes, right. try it. Yes, okay. that's how I do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, the professional says so, so everybody should. Yes. Okay, so brush with your mouth open. Yes. You know, don't close it, and then yes. that's the appropriate thing to do. Yes. Uh, even if you try, don't worry, don't pour. If you pour, then you are yeah. brushing, yeah, it, so yeah. just clean it up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. There's a, uh, you need to come back. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's a lot. Uh, there's a lot to talk about. Yes, you know, even all the other um, how to even identify when you're having problems in your teeth, when yes. to see the do to go to run to the dentist immediately. Yes. So I need to pull you back again yeah, so no. that we'll have more discussion on this. It's okay. You promised me, you, you promised <laughs> us in the studio, you know, you promised the viewers. Yes. So they'll be looking to see your face yeah, again. It's okay. It's okay. All right. Thank you so much for coming on. I think pleasure. I've learned so much. And <laughs> as I've been saying, now I know why my teeth are so me. <laughs> Thank you so much. And yes, thank you so much, viewers, for staying with us. I believe, just as you have learned a lot, I believe you have learned a lot on why your teeth is the way it is. You need to see the dentist, okay? My guest has been Dr. Ebikwa Ayeba. He's a principal dental surgeon at the University of Abuja Teaching Hospital, and he has really opened our eyes today. So thank you so much for joining me on the program. I'll see you next time. My name is Angela Wenze. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.